like Shelton for kissing me back to life. Thank you so much. I am, I'm blown away. Can you describe your year? Um, this year was incredible. This year was like someone said, hey, wake up. And I was like, whoa, oh my God. I thought I was seeing in color, but now I'm really seeing in color. <laughs> A year and 10 days after they officially started dating, Gwen and Blake are making us feel all the feels. Blake Shelton? Oh my God. Yeah, that fella. It's incredible to have um, a, a best friend like that guy. He's, he's an amazing person. I think somebody that can make you laugh constantly Important. is very sexy. And somebody that is, let's see, humble, kind, down to earth, selfless, talented, on the top of their game. I think I'm his biggest fan. I mean, what, what defines sexy? It really is so personal, you yeah. know what I mean? And for me, it's just that, that big old heart and that sense of humor and just such a, you know, he doesn't even like take himself seriously and he's just so, inc such an incredible person. Yeah, so yeah, it and that's out. sexy. That's sexy yeah. to me. It is. And I just never thought in my wildest dreams, that on paper, a cowboy and a ska like mm -hmm. girl from Anaheim would be hanging out, but it works perfect. And uh, we're just having so much fun and we just feel so blessed to be at this point in our lives. And I don't know, it's like, it's, it's, it is awkward to talk about it actually a little bit. <laughs> yeah. like, okay. We can't get enough. <laughs> yeah. And you, it's one of the great things about the voice. It is. Do you think that Blake would be a good dad? He is a good dad, actually. He's been helping me out a lot. So I like literally get to the point where I'm like, you got to get home. Like, come on, <laughs> need some help. Like, it's hard. I got three I boys. This is the, the most, um, this is the most what I thought love was supposed to be. And it's right the now? most, yes. And it's the most, um, you know, pure in the sense that it's like there it's all it's all like what the storybook of love you know what i'm saying mm. like the the giving and the receiving mm -hmm. and it just feels very like um even and i don't know it's it's pretty magical and i feel really blessed and i feel like i feel like i'm bragging when i talk <laughs> about it because i am i am so lucky and it was so unexpected but Aww. i think i think the thing about your relationship with blake which that seems so cool to me is it does seem very regular it seems like you're taking your kid to school and he's helping he's my best friend he's my my like you know he's my best friend so i think that we just we go through everything together we do everything together and we just lean on each other and it's been a really really i just feel so lucky i never and i never because what happens is we all go through life and we, everybody has pain there yeah. we're, we're you know, we're, we're not getting out of here alive. <laughs> it's all, we all have to go through this stuff. And I think that, um, never expected after having such a hard time. Um, and, and my love was like always this, like, it was always not what I thought it was going to be in the mm -hmm. sense that I was like, why, why am I so unlucky in love? Like mm -hmm. I have these perfectly like married in love parents, my, mm -hmm. this, this example of love my whole life. Mm -hmm. And then mine has been this tragic thing and you can just hear it in the songs. I write about it the entire time. So I'm not like, it's, it is kind of awkward to talk about because mm -hmm. uh, other people are involved and I have mm -hmm. children and stuff like that. So I need to protect um, them. Sure. But I think that for me to, to see on the other side was going to be this after all of that tragedy wow. was like, is like, it's almost impossible. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I've just feel so grateful and um, I can see why you love Blake so much. Oh, that was, that, that's pretty wow. nice. Okay, that's pretty uh, wait a minute. I need to say a prayer of thanks right now. <laughs> I got the greatest guy ever. He did, he did sign on. the cross. <laughs> when he says, she, no offense, <laughs> she's my favorite person I've ever met. Like, that is, that's got to feel particularly good, coming from your partner. It does. Especially coming from him. I mean, he's like the greatest human in the world. So, I mean, I'm not trying to up him right now, but that is seriously how I feel. He knows that. And um, just feeling real grateful. Real um, grateful. Blake saved my life. Everybody knows that. Like, and we are just having the time of our lives, and we never expected that this late in our lives. So we're just trying to savor every, every moment together. I feel like I'm the one that's, like, getting it off by getting Blake. You know what I'm saying? What the hell is I, wrong it's, with you? It's <laughs> the truth. Everybody is jealous of me, too. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> when I'm a little jealous Hard of to you. believe that... I'm back at the Grammys, but not just that, but with Blake Shelton. That's like my favorite human being. I get to do yeah. a song. Whoa, did you hear that? Did yes. you get that? Did you record that, everybody? <laughs> Your favorite human being? Honestly, let me ask you, how has Blake helped you? Oh my gosh, he saved my entire life. Like, yeah. not only just 
everyone was like, how was your drive over? I was like, wonderful. I was with Blake Shelton. Like, he just makes me laugh and smile and just, it's just like the greatest guy. Everybody Ooh. says it. I mean, it's not just me. I mean, 